The new Australian firefighters calendar is out now. This year's calendar comes in five different versions. Most of them feature shirtless firefighters with adorable animals. <laughs> this is the 32nd year they've made the calendar. They've raised nearly three and a half million dollars for several charities since 1993. And joining us now are firefighters Lincoln Decker, Michael Galanos, as well as Elijah Johnson, the first black firefighter chosen hey. in the calendar's 32 year history. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Good, so how's everybody feeling this thing's out now after doing the shoots and everything? Are you happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with how the photos turned out. They turned out very good. Yeah. Sorry, we're just at a um, operational fire station. One of the trucks has literally just come back as this interview has started. Yeah, so I apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No problem. I was just asking, like, how did it feel to see yourselves, you know, in this calendar? It's out now, you know, and it's being sold in 90 countries, something like that. Billions of people online seeing it. What does it feel like to see it? Uh, it's insane. It's incredible to see uh, all the boys put in so much effort and to see it worldwide as well. It's amazing. Does it bother you that you're being used for your body? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> for the cause. <laughs> what is the process like getting picked for this? I mean, is there is there a ton of people that want to do it now? It's been around for so long, or is it hard to find guys willing to step up and be a part of this? Um, it's funny you ask that. Um, at the moment, there's about five or six guys standing in the background who claim that they never want to go in the calendar, but I bet they all really do want to have a get into it. Uh, but I think everyone joins differently. Um, some people are just approached randomly. Um, and just ask to be in it. Some people can apply to be in it. Um, people like AJ are kind of scouted um, to be in the calendar. And yeah, everyone sort of gets in it for different reasons or is scouted or starts doing it for, yeah, lots of different, different reasons. I'm curious as firefighters, we're looking at video of a guy throwing <laughs> what appears to be gasoline or some sort of fuel to, to kind of get this fire going behind you guys. Was that kind of counterintuitive for you guys to be there with that going on behind you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you sort of want to turn around and do your job, but we know what we're there for, and uh, it's a bit of heat on the back, but it makes for a good shot. Yeah. What has been the reaction from the less attractive firefighters in your <laughs> They're group? They're just jealous, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is there competition? Um, yeah. I was going to say yes, I was going to say no. Uh, I think in, as firefighters, no matter where we're from, uh, different parts in Australia, all over the world, like AJ, I think we're all sort of like a family, we all look after each other. So um, there's obviously a lot of good banter between us all, but it's all in, all in good spirits. So AJ, uh, we just mentioned, you know, uh, you know, being the first, first black firefighter featured in this calendar. Um, you know, how does that feel? It's a big moment for this, right? Yeah, um, it was a pretty big honor uh, when they told me at first. Uh, I was a little surprised, but I'm very grateful to be the first one, um, the first black firefighter in the calendar. Um, and it's a pretty big achievement um, for me personally, um, not only for that, but also to inspire others that look like me. That's awesome. So for more information, go to AustralianFirefightersCalendar.com. Follow them on Facebook and on Instagram. And, of course, this is all being uh, for a great cause. Yes. You know, this goes to charity raising so much money. Thanks, thanks for joining us this morning. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks so much.